So we got this beautiful golden color from the saffron. A little bit of a red tinge from the chilies. Aaron Polsky manages Harvard and Stone, a hip Hollywood neighborhood bar. He loves making craft cocktails, but has quite a bit to say about the newfound health of his industry. We sort of try to absorb um, seasonality, the neighborhood, sustainability. In this drink, he's infused Earl Grey tea and the spiced coriander. In another, Kashmiri chilies and Szechuan peppercorns are shaken to provide a spicy liquid. And this garnet beverage is made from low glycemic Cabernet Sauvignon grape syrup for flavor. If you drink at a bar that takes care with its ingredients, with its balance, with its preparation, you're not going to get a cocktail that's oversweetened. He claims that most you'll get about a teaspoon of sweetener, mostly coming from fresh juice or fruits that have often been marinating with spices or chilies to create something flavorful. And no longer relegated to a Shirley Temple Club soda or Virgin Bloody Mary, as it turns out, mocktails are now in fashion. More and more, we, we find that there are people who aren't drinking and they want to be included in the experience. And so that for us is to offer the same things we offer with another with a premium non-alcoholic product. Like this drink made from a non-alcoholic spirit from Seed Lip Garden that imparts the flavor from six botanicals. Peas, rosemary, hay, thyme, mint, and hops. Harvard studies suggest moderate drinking may protect against cardiovascular disease and provide beneficial changes to insulin sensitivity. Perhaps the incorporation of ingredients that help fight inflammation and oxidation adds to the mix.